Hello everyone. Good morning. Myself, Dr. Apurva Mittal, and I am your educator for anesthesia on this prestigious platform of An Academy. And today we will be discussing about pulse oximetry. Before this, we have already discussed as how to oxygen is transported uh, in the blood. So uh, regarding that, uh, now we will study the pulse oximetry, which is a very important. Uh, monitoring in anesthesia and according to the ASA guideline every patient who is uh, requiring anesthesia should be monitored for the saturation by pulse oximeter so it is a basic uh, monitoring in anesthesia according to the American Society of Anesthesia okay guidelines uh, before starting our today's topic let me introduce you an academy so an academy is india's leading platform for uh, learning for online courses and uh, we have this channel that is let's crack meet pg friends so uh, through this uh, we'll be covering all the important topics for the 19 subjects which will help you to crack the neat pg exams and about myself as i told you earlier myself dr apurva mittal and i did my mbbs from kasturba medical college mangalore manipal university and my md anesthesia from savai mansing hospital in jaipur and currently i am working in the icu setup in the kobe medical center and hospital in coimbatore so uh, for uh, getting the we, ha we have an unacademy learning app by installing this unacademy learning app you will be able to avail the classes um, by getting the subscription for the plus and the iconic subscription okay now what is the advantage of getting the plus subscription uh, by getting plus subscription why is it different from attending the classes on the youtube See, on the YouTube, you might, uh, you know, miss upon some of the topics which are very important for the NEET PG exams. In the plus and the iconic subscriptions, we have batch courses and, uh, and we have structured schedule, okay? By the batch courses, I mean, like, if you are planning to uh, aim at the NEET exams or the INI CET exams, so there will be particular batches which will help you to know what kind of questions which are asked, what are the important topics pertaining to those exams. So this is very important. And this will be in a structured schedule so that you don't miss upon any of the important topics from any of the subjects. And we'll be having live classes. Through the live classes, you'll get a live classroom like um, environment because through these live classes, you can ask your doubts okay from the educators and also we we'll have live tests and quizzes so that you know about the progress and also know about how the questions are asked so these are the advantages of the plus uh, subscription for the iconic iconic you have uh, with an academy we have prep letter also in which you will have the video lectures and very important the question bank in which the previous year questions plus the questions which can be asked is covered and we'll have the rapid revision course uh, for any success okay it is must to have a thorough revision so we'll have a rapid revision course and the handwritten notes so that is the advantage of the iconic are you getting my point uh, and through the plus and the iconic subscription uh, you'll be able to have classes from the top educators which are associated with an academy like Dr. Pavan, Dr. Uh, Zainav, Dr. Rajesh and Dr. Preeti Sharma. So these are the advantages of the plus and iconic subscription. Now, how do you get the subscription? So first you have to install the Unacademy Learning app and then uh, you have to select the Need PG 
and uh, get the iconic subscription or the plus subscription for 12 months or uh, two years or three years now friends i would advise you if you are in uh, uh, doing the internship then um, you can go for either a one year or a two year course but if you are uh, in second or the third year i would advise you to go for a two year or a three year course okay so that you have regular revision and if you apply my code that is apurva okay you'll get 10 percent discount on the same and uh, uh, on all these courses and uh, if you are just planning to have a quick revision to know how the an academy actually works you can have a one month or three month subscription also and in this also if you apply my code apurva you will get 10 percent discount so that is about the unacademy so uh, let's start our today's topic that is pulse oximetry uh, guys am i audible and clear am i audible and clear if any problem please let me know if there is any problem in the audio or the video please let me know and throughout the class if at any point you have any doubts please let me know i will uh, try my level best to clear those doubts okay so let's start our today's topic that is pulse oximetry so as i told you the pulse oximetry the first very important point it is a standard remember standard asa monitoring okay the american society of anesthesia has told that there are certain monitors which has to be done for every patient who is requiring anesthesia so pulse oximetry is uh, is amongst them and that will tell us about the saturation okay it will, it will tell us about the saturation it will tell us about the ventilation so okay uh, it will tell us about the saturation if the patient is oxygenation okay it will tell us about the oxygenation so uh, that is very important that is very important so it is a standard asa monitoring device now the pulse oximeter every one of you must have seen the pulse oximeter during the covid times because my, uh, if even if the patient is asymptomatic the covid patients might uh, just present with the fall in the saturation so what are the parameters which are shown on the pulse oximeter so it shows up us about the spo2 now what is spo2 i'll talk in detail and it also tells us about the pulse rate these are the two important things which are shown by the pulse oximeter okay now uh, what is pulse oximeter see this is the pulse oximeter everyone uh, of you would have seen so this 97 percent this is the saturation of oxygen that is how much okay how much hemoglobin is saturated with oxygen okay how much hemoglobin is saturated with oxygen so uh, dr abhishek welcome to the class good morning so it is a non-invasive technique okay it is a pulse oximeter first of all it is a non-invasive technique to monitor the oxygen saturation of hemoglobin how much hemoglobin is saturated with oxygen that is what the pulse oximeter tells us okay so this is very important now first of all i have already discussed in detail in the first class how oxygen is carried in the blood see the oxygen in the blood in blood is carried in two forms okay it is carried in the dissolved form in the plasma dissolved form in the plasma and that is three percent and other it is uh, carried in bound to dr uttam welcome to the class dr abhishek dr uttam if you have any doubts please let me know oxygen in the blood is carried in two forms in the dissolved form and bound to hemoglobin that is 97 percent okay it is this form the oxygen which is bound to hemoglobin 
that is the one which is monitored with the help of the pulse oximeter please remember this because many questions are asked okay it does not tell us how much oxygen is dissolved in the plasma it will just tell us how much oxygen is bound to hemoglobin that is monitored with the help of the pulse oximeter in short it does not tell us the dissolved form it does not tell us okay it does not tell us tell us the total oxygen content the total oxygen content okay in the blood because it is not telling us about the dissolved form it is just telling the percentage saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen okay so pulse oximeter first question it just tell us about the oxygen which is bound to hemoglobin that is only to, uh, monitored with the pulse oximeter so what does it tell us about it tells us about the spo2 that is how much oxygen is bound to the hemoglobin it tells us about the pulse rate okay then it also tells us if the tissue is perfused or not aisa to nahi hai ki tissue perfusion tissue ko supply hua blood kam hai so it also gives us a clue about the tissue perfusion how it gives us there is a graphic representation which is seen in the pulse oximeter and you all must have seen this graphic representation and this is known as a plethysmograph this i'll tell you in detail in the later slides this plethysmograph the amplitude kitna upar tak ye ja rahe the amplitude of this plethysmograph tells us if the tissues perfusion is um better or not if the tissues is properly perfused or not okay then it tells us about the perfusion index aap logo ne agar pulse oximeter acche se dekha hoga so in the upper side it is giving us the perfusion index okay now what is perfusion index what is perfusion index where it is used mainly see perfusion index is the ratio of pulsatile blood flow dekho whenever the blood is flowing through a artery okay whenever the blood is flowing through the artery uh through artery okay during the systole during a systole uh उसमें एकदम से देर विल बी चेंज इन द प्रेशर राइट देर विल बी चेंज इन द प्रेशर प्रेशर एंड ड्यूरिंग दैचुअल देर विल बी फॉल इन द प्रेशर सो दैट इज रिकॉग्नाइज बाय द पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर सो द पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर इट रिकॉग्नाइजेस द पल्सिटाइव ब्लड फ्लो टू द नॉन पल्सिटाइव ब्लड फ्लो दैट इज थ्रू द वेन्स थ्रू फैट ओके थ्रू फैट so the ratio which of blood flowing through the arteries upon the ratio flowing through the veins or the fat or the tissues and the ratio of that tells us about the perfusion index theek hai for example for example whenever we are giving caudal anesthesia theek hai to the infants to a newborn uh, to a small children uh the uh, to know whether the effect has come or not we see the perfusion index because if uh, we uh, the caudal anesthesia has worked there will be vasodilation okay vasodilation so the changes in the perfusion index can tell us if the effect has come or not am i clear dr abhishek dr uttam am i clear any doubts in this any doubts in this so the pulse oximeter it tells us about the spo2 the pulse rate tissue perfusion and the perfusion index this is the question which is asked in the exams okay now basically how does this pulse oximeter works okay pulse oximeter dekha hai it is placed against the tip of the finger theek hai usme ek red light hoti hai so how this pulse oximeter actually works now see imagine this is a finger okay okay around this this pulse oximeter is placed okay now this pulse oximeter isme dekha hoga yahan pe ek light hoti hai there is a red light which is a light emitting diode 
are you getting my point so this is the finger pulse oximeter it has a light emitting diode now this light emitting diode what it does is it is emitting two wavelength of light okay it is emitting two different wavelength of light that is the infrared and the red light okay so there is a light emitting diode which is emitting two different wavelength of light that is the infrared and the red light now when this infrared and the red light it passes through this finger depending upon how much of oxygen is bound with hemoglobin or how much is in the reduced form there is absorption of light okay there is absorption of light which is detected by a uh, detector which is placed on the other end for example if there is a hemoglobin okay it if there is oxygenated hemoglobin the oxygenated hemoglobin it absorbs more of it absorbs more of infrared light okay it absorbs more of infrared light so this uh, detector it will detect more of the red light kyu kyunki red light absorb new way wo yahan pe detect ho jayegi and that will tell us if more amount of oxygenated hemoglobin is present because the reduced hemoglobin the reduced hemoglobin it absorbs more of red light so the detector it will detect more of the infrared light so this is how the pulse oximeter works is it clear this is how it will tell us about the saturation how much oxygen is bound to hemoglobin dr abhishek dr uttam is it clear others is it clear please let me know so it is based on the two principles the first principle as i told you it is spectrophotometry now what does this term uh, mean the term spectrophotometry is the different spectrum of light okay the different spectrum of light is uh, passed through the light emitting diode through the finger ठीक है एंड डिपेंडिंग कितना ऑक्सीजनेटेड है और कितना रिड्यूस्ड हीमोग्लोबिन है डिफरेंट वेवलेंथ ऑफ लाइट विल बी एब्जॉर्ब एंड दैट विल बी डिटेक्टेड बाय दिस डिटेक्टर एंड दैट विल टेल अस अबाउट द सैचुरेशन ओके सो एज आई टोल्ड यू एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ लाइट ठीक है व्हिच इज एमिटेड बाय दिस लाइट एमिटिंग डायोड और टू डिफरेंट वेवलेंथ टू डिफरेंट वेवलेंथ इंफ्रारेड के वेवलेंथ अराउंड 960 एंड a red light ke wavelength around 660 nanometers theek hai so absorption of light at two different wavelength by hemoglobin if it is oxygenated hemoglobin it will absorb oxygenated oxygenated kaise dikhega red so it is absorbing more of what light it is absorbing more of infrared light uh, so it depends upon if uh, the degree of oxygenation of the hemoglobin if it is oxygenated as i told you it will absorb more of the infrared light so that is what is spectrophotometry okay so this is a diagram okay yahan pe the light emitting diode it is emitting the red and the infrared light तो अगर डी हीमोग्लोबिन है तो डी हीमोग्लोबिन क्या करेगा इट इज एब्जॉर्बिंग सी इट इज एब्जॉर्बिंग मोर ऑफ द रेड लाइट एंड इट इज एब्जॉर्बिंग लेस ऑफ द रेड लाइट एंड देर फोर देर इज अ एब्जॉर्बिंग रेशियो दैट इज आर ठीक है द आर इज द अमाउंट ऑफ सॉरी द एब्जॉर्बिंग रेशियो दैट इज इक्वल टू द अमाउंट ऑफ red light which is absorbed okay upon i'm so sorry one second there is an absorbance ratio okay absorbance ratio is equal to the amount of red light which is absorbed okay upon the amount of infrared light absorbed and this detects the spo2 this 
डिटेक्ट्स द एस पी ओ टू ठीक है तो इसे इसी रेशियो पे कि कितनी रेड लाइट एब्जॉर्ब हो रही है अपॉन कितनी इन्फ्रेड लाइट एब्जॉर्ब हो रही है दैट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू द एस पी ओ टू वैल्यू इज इट क्लियर सो दिस इज वॉट इज द फिनोमिना ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रो फोटोमेट्री तो इसके ऊपर क्वेश्चन यही आते हैं कि वॉट इज द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल दैट इज द टू डिफरेंट वेव लेंथ कौन सी वेव लेंथ ऑफ लाइट इन्फ्रेड और रेड लाइट उसके एब्जॉर्बेंस के अकॉर्डिंगली हमें पता चलता है कि कितना सैचुरेटेड है और कितना रिड्यूस्ड फॉर्म ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन है ठीक है फिर दूसरा प्रिंसिपल होता है दैट इज फोटोप्लेथिसमोग्राफी ठीक है तो नेक्स्ट प्रिंसिपल इज फोटो प्लेथिसमोग्राफी एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर ये जो पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर है इट इज एनालाइजिंग ओनली द पल्सटाइल आर्टीरियर ब्लड फ्लो विच इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू इट ठीक है इट विल डिटेक्ट ओनली द अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड विच इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू अ आर्टरी बिकॉज आर्टरी में वेन इट इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू द सिस्टोलिक दे विल बी अप एंड वेन इट इज फ्लोइंग इन द डायस्टोलिक दे विल बी अ ट्रॉफ ठीक है सो दैट अपमेन एंड ट्रफ जो होता है इट इज एनालाइज बाय द पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर इट डज नॉट एनालाइज द नॉन पल्सटाइल ब्लड फ्लो विच इज देयर इन द वेन द टिश्यूज एंड दिस ठीक है सो एनी चेंज इन द एब्जॉर्बेंस ऑफ लाइट ड्यूरिंग द सिस्टोल और द डायस्टोल इट मस्ट बी ड्यूरिंग द आर्टीरियर ब्लड एंड दैट इज वॉट इज डिटेक्टेड बाय द पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर इज इट क्लियर गाइज इज इट क्लियर ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये जो एक फिंगर है ठीक है एंड दिस पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर इज देयर सो इट इज डिटेक्टिंग ओनली द ओनली द एब्जॉर्बेंस ऑफ लाइट थ्रू द आर्ट्री ओके इट इज डिटेक्टिंग ओनली द एब्जॉर्बेंस ऑफ लाइट थ्रू द आर्ट्री विच इज इन द पल्सटाइल नेचर विच इज इन द पल्सटाइल नेचर सो दैट इज फोटो प्लेथिसमोग्राफी ठीक है सो एंड दैट गिव्स अस दिस ट्रेस दैट इज नोन एज द प्लेथिसमोग्राफिक ट्रेस एंड द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ दिस ट्रेस ओके एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ दिस ट्रेस टेल्स अस अबाउट द टिश्यू परफ्यूजन टिश्यू परफ्यूजन एंड दिस इज हाउ क्यों क्योंकि अगर कहीं पे वैसो कंस्ट्रिक्शन होगा तो क्या होगा आर्टरी दे वोट बी इनफ ब्लड फ्लो ठीक है वैसो कंस्ट्रक्शन होगा तो ब्लड फ्लो ज्यादा अच्छे से नहीं होगा तो एम्पलीट्यूड क्या होगा प्लेथिसमोग्राफिक फेस का एम्पलीट्यूड कम होगा एंड दैट इज हाउ इट टेल्स अस अबाउट द टिश्यू परफ्यूजन इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर सो द पल्स ऑक्सटेल नाउ वी हैव रेड इट टेल्स अस अबाउट द एस पी ओ टू दैट इज हाउ मच ऑक्सीजन इज बाउंड टू हिमोग्लोबिन इट डज नॉट टेल अस अबाउट द रिजॉल्व और द टोटल फॉर्म ऑफ Uh, total form of oxygen which is carried by the blood it tells us about the pulse rate and it tells us about the tissue perfusion okay okay fine now another question which is asked okay it is asked is the pulse oximeter it works on the principle of the beer lambert's law what is the law on which it uh, functions that is the beer lambert's law now just to discuss what is exactly the beer lambert's law lambert's okay as the name suggests lambert's okay is a l that is long okay the amount of light remember lambert's kyunki kafi confusion ho jata hai ki lambert's kya hai aur beer's law kya hai so lambert's law is the amount of light absorbed is proportional to the length of the light path what is it jaise ye finger hai theek hai ye light emitting diode hai theek hai now ye wale jo finger hai that is thin as compared to here it is thick theek hai to isme ye jo light rays wo ho rahi hai emit ho rahi hai they have to travel less amount of the path as compared here they have to travel more path 
so less path less absorption is there and more path more absorption is there that is according to the lambert's law so the amount of light absorbed is proportional to the light of the uh, length of the light path that is the lambert's law jitna lamba hoga jitna lamba path hoga jitna long path hoga more amount of light will be absorbed that is the beer lambert's law is it clear is it clear no beer beer's law beer's law mein kya hota hai it is depending upon kitna hemoglobin hai kitna solute present hai uh, proportional to a area theek hai so amount of light absorbed is proportional to concentration of light absorbing substance hemoglobin is a light absorbing substance so uh dr abhishek you are asking me difference between the two laws i'll just repeat first uh, let me tell you what is the beers law okay so here uh the pathway is same dono ki thickness same hai magar idhar ye jo hemoglobin hai ye kam hai so it has less of the light absorbing substance idhar hemoglobin zyada hai so it has a high Uh, light absorbing substance. So here it will be high absorption. Here it will be low absorption. That is the Beer's law. Now, Doctor Abhishek is asking me to repeat the two laws. See the pulse oximeter. Okay, it is working on the principle of the Beer Lambert's law. I was telling you how to remember this Beer Lambert's law. See Lambert's here L is coming, so that means. a long it is related to a pathway the long pathway more the more the thickness of the finger okay more the thickness it has to traverse yahan pe kya hai yahan pe it is thin okay this area is thin here it is thick so the light which is emitted okay through the diode it is being absorbed more in this as compared to here as compared to this figure so that is in accordance to the lambert's law which states that more the pathway of the light more will be the absorption dr abhishek is it clear is it clear the lambert's law is it clear now what does beer's law state beer's law state that इट डिपेंड बियर के अंदर क्या होता है एक सोल्यूशन होता है उसके अंदर सोल्यूट होते हैं उसके अंदर हम लोगों को ऐसे बबल्स दिखते हैं ठीक है तो रिमेम्बर मोर द लाइट एब्जॉर्बिंग सब्सटेंस सी इसकी थिकनेस और इसकी थिकनेस सेम है मगर इसके अंदर ये जो हीमोग्लोबिन है ये कम है इट इज मोर हियर इट इज मोर कंसेंट्रेटेड ओवर हियर सो so more the hemoglobin more will be the absorption of the light that is in accordance to the beer's law that is in accordance to the beer's law okay abhishek i hope this is clear others i hope this is clear so i will just telling you pulse oximeter pe jo questions aate hain ek to what are the parameters which is telling it is telling us about the spo2 friends it is not telling us about the dissolved or the total oxygen first it is telling us about the pulse rate it is telling us about the tissue perfusion through the plethysmographic graph and i told you how it is telling it is telling us through the photoplethysmography because it will detect only the pulsatile blood flow through the artery it is not detecting the non pulsatile blood flow तो जैसे अगर पेशेंट कोई शॉक में है तो क्या होगा द ब्लड फ्लो विल बी मोर नॉन पल्सिटाइल राइट शॉक में पेशेंट है वेसल्स विल बी वेसो कंस्ट्रिक्टेड ठीक है तो उसमें क्या होगा द टिश्यू परफ्यूजन इज लेस ठीक है सो द सैचुरेशन विल बी लेस एंड वॉट इज स्पेक्ट्रोफोटोमेट्री वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द लाइट एमिटिंग डायोड इट इज एमिटिंग two different wavelength of the light which is detected by the deoxy kitna uh, reduced hemoglobin hai aur oxygenated hemoglobin hai theek hai so this is about the pulse oximetry the principles and how does it work and what does it tell us about theek hai so what are the uses the uses of the pulse oximetry is to monitor the oxygenation right see फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर किसी का सैचुरेशन 
स्टार्टिंग में 85 परसेंट है ठीक है तो इसका मतलब मोस्टली लेस अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज बॉन्ड टू हीमोग्लोबिन एंड मोस्टली द हीमोग्लो ऑक्सीजन इज कैरिड टू बाउंड टू हीमोग्लोबिन ठीक है दैट इज 97 परसेंट तो अगर सैचुरेशन कम हुआ इसका मतलब ऑक्सीजनेशन ऑफ द ब्लड इज ऑल्सो मोस्टली लेस सो इट इज यूज टू मॉनिटर द ऑक्सीजन नेशन इट इज यूज टू मॉनिटर द ऑक्सीजन थेरेपी अगर सैचुरेशन कम है हमने उसको फेस मास्क लगाया तो वो फेस मास्क उसका सैचुरेशन अगर इंक्रीज कर रहा है सो दैट इज दैट इज हेल्पफुल सो इट इज हेल्पफुल इन मॉनिटरिंग द ऑक्सीजन थेरेपी इट इज असेसमेंट ऑफ परफ्यूजन एज आई टोल्ड यू एंड ऑल्सो मॉनिटरिंग द वैस्कुलर वॉल्यूम सो दीज आर द यूज ऑफ पल्स ऑक्सीमेट्री इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर एवरी वन ओके सो दीज आर द यूज ऑफ पल्स ऑक्सीमेट्री नाउ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड द क्वेश्चन विच इज आर्स वट आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ एर आप लोगों ने देखा होगा किसी को पल्स ऑक्स लगाए पेशेंट इज फाइन द पेशेंट डजेंट लुक कि उसमें हीमोग्लोबिन या फिर ऑक्सीजनेशन की कमी होगी और एल्स ही नीड्स द ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई और द सप्लीमेंटेशन बट द मॉनिटर इज शोइंग कि उसका सैचुरेशन कम है तो देर माइट बी सम सोर्स ऑफ एर विच इज प्रेजेंट ओके सो वट आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ एर That is when there is reduction in the arterial pulsation. ठीक है Because it is detecting the arterial pulsation. So whenever there is reduction in the arterial pulsation, it might give us the false value. So as seen in hypothermia. Hypothermia में क्या होगा Digits की uh, the end arteries it is वेसो constricted या फिर hypotension or वेसो pressures. This will give us less SpO2 value. It will give give us less SpO2 value. The oxygenation is fine, okay, but it will give us uh, less SpO2 value. So these are one of the sources of error. Other is if the patient is going on shivering, okay. So क्या होगा? Uh, at the tip of the finger, the monitor is placed, right? The pulse ox is placed. It will also go on shivering. So the light won't be emitted properly through the tissue so therefore it will give us false value so uh, uh, body movement like in shivering or in the parkinsonism there is source of error now very important point which is asked is in this hemoglobinemias in this hemoglobinemias if the patient is having carbon monoxide poisoning can you tell me in carbon monoxide poisoning what will be the spo2 value what will be the spo2 value in carbon monoxide poisoning okay will it be high or will it be low and if it is high why is it so and if it is low why is it so agar kisi patient mein carbon monoxide poisoning hai to jo apna pulse ox hai वो क्या रीडिंग देगा देखो कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड में ऑब्वियसली कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड इट हैज हाई एफिनिटी फॉर हीमोग्लोबिन डॉक्टर अभिषेक इज टेलिंग मी लेस अदर्स कैन यू टेल मी इन कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड पॉइजनिंग व्हाट विल बी द पल्स ऑक्स फाइंडिंग विल इट बी हाई और विल इट बी लो so carbon monoxide it has high affinity for hemoglobin that means less oxygen is bound to hemoglobin so ideally the spo2 value should have been low dr uttam and dr abhishek is giving me low value others can you tell me guys according to the principle it is less amount of oxygen is bound to hemoglobin so spo2 ideally should has been less but but in carbon monoxide poisoning we see that the spo2 value is actually falsely high it is falsely high now why is it so dr abhishek dr uttam 
Are you getting my point? In carbon monoxide poisoning, the SpO2, it gives us false high value. It gives us false high value. Now, why is it so? See, ये जो carbon monoxide है, ठीक है, उसकी वजह से blood का color क्या हो जाता है? It is cherry red in color. ठीक है, and the absorbance, okay, of light. Is same as normal. That is oxygenated hemoglobin. It is same as oxygenated hemoglobin. That is whenever the light it passes through this carboxy hemoglobin, it will absorb. It will absorb more of infrared of infrared than the red light and therefore the oxygen saturation is more are you getting my point it is falsely high because the absorbance of light is same as that of the oxygenated hemoglobin form and therefore more of infrared light is absorbed and therefore the spo2 value is falsely high is it clear dr uttam Yes, the uh, hemoglobin bound with carbon monoxide. So, HbO will be low. That is what it is source of error. It is error. It is an error. It gives us false high value. Okay? It is giving us falsely high value in case of carboxyhemoglobin. Is it clear? Is it clear? Ideally, it is low. The oxygenation is low. The SpO2 is low. But it is giving us Firstly, high value because because the absorbance of light is same as oxyhemoglobin. More amount of infrared light is absorbed in carboxyhemoglobin, and therefore we get firstly high value. Is it clear, Doctor Abhishek, Doctor Uttam? Now you get why it is high. Why is it falsely high in carboxyhemoglobin? Okay, so please don't uh, 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 make this mistake. Okay, uh, theoretically we think that um, a less amount of oxygen will be bound to hemoglobin. It should be less, but no, it is falsely high because the absorbance of light is more. Now, what about methemoglobinemia? Can you tell me methemoglobinemia? What happens to the SpO2 value. These two are very uh, frequent questions which are asked. That's why I'm uh, discussing in detail what happens in methemoglobinemia. What happens to SpO2 value? Is it high or is it low? Is it high or is it low? Guys, please answer. I'm waiting for your answer. Carboxyhemoglobin may falsely high hair. What happens in methemoglobin? Guys, methemoglobin, what happens is the absorbance of light of infrared and red is same. Okay, so this absorbance ratio, hai, the absorbance ratio, it is equal, it is 1, it is 1. Okay, Dr. Abhishek, no, it is not low. Okay, the absorbance ratio is 1. So, in methemoglobinemia, the SpO2 will be around, it will always give us a value of 85%. So, it is giving us either falsely high or falsely low value. Okay, so methemoglobin may the absorbance ratio, the absorbance of light is equal. That is, the absorbance of light uh, of uh, infrared and the red is same. So the SpO2 value is 85%. Okay, so therefore, agar oxygen saturation 90% hai actual may so it will give us falsely low value and if oxygen saturation is actual 80% it is giving us high value is it clear 
is it clear so these are the two very important points the sources of error which happens in dishemoglobinemias that is carboxy and methemoglobin okay now uh, the color interference i will tell you in the other slide i'm sorry for this okay so till now we have read the sources of error pehla hum logon ne padha tha because of the less arterial percentile blood flow dusra humne padha if there is constant shaking teesra humne padha because of this hemoglobinemias now other is the color interference okay the other is the color interference okay you would have seen ot mein jab bhi patient aata hai if there is a nail polish mostly we remove that nail polish specially if it is if the nail paint okay if the nail paint is specially of blue or violet color theek okay? hai it interferes with the absorbance of the light the uh, nail polish it interferes with the absorbance of light and it can give us false values and therefore Uh, the color interference is the one, and secondly, because of electrocautery. Okay, because of electrocautery, also we can have the uh, values which are different from the falsely low values in case of pulse oximeter. Other BP cuff. Agar हम लोगों ने बीपी कफ और पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर एक ही आर्म में लगाया हुआ है ठीक है फॉर एग्जांपल बीपी कफ इज इन द राइट आर्म ठीक है वी वी हम लोग कोशिश करते हैं कि पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर हम लोग लेफ्ट आर्म में लगाए क्यों लेफ्ट फिंगर में लगाए क्यों क्योंकि अगर बीपी कफ ठीक है और पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर एक ही हैंड में तो क्या होगा जब भी बीपी कफ इन्फ्लेट होगा तो क्या होगा द ब्लड फ्लो विल रिड्यूस तो पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर उसको रॉन्गली डिटेक्ट करेगा और वो फॉल्सली लो वैल्यू दे सकता है इसलिए दीज आर द डिफरेंट सोर्सेस ऑफ एरर इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर फ्रेंड्स एनी डाउट इन दिस एनी डाउट तो दीज आर द सोर्सेस ऑफ एरर सो वॉट वी स्टडीड इन टूडेज क्लास एंड वॉट आर द क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी आज फ्रॉम द पल्स ऑक्सीमीटर फर्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इट इज अ स्टैंडर्ड ए एस ए मॉनिटर ओके ए एस ए मॉनिटर विच विल टेल अस अबाउट द ऑक्सीजनेशन ऑक्सीजनेशन ऑफ ब्लड बट इट इज टेलिंग अस ओनली द एस पी ओ टू दैट इज द ऑक्सीजन बाउंड to hemoglobin it is not telling us about the dissolved oxygen or the total oxygen the the second question which is most frequently asked is what are the parameters which are shown in so it is showing us spo2 it is showing us the pulse rate tissue perfusion and the perfusion index then what are the principles theek hai so these are the spectrophotometry and photoplethysmograph and what are the what are the sources of error sources of error and in this please remember mainly about the carboxy hemoglobin and meth hemoglobin theek hai is it clear is it clear any doubts in today's class any doubts in clear today's class and remember the beer lambert's law so pulse oximeter it functions on the beer lambert's law theek okay? hai guys any doubt in today's class so that was all for pulse oximeter tomorrow okay tomorrow at 7 pm we'll discuss very important topic that is capnographs okay i'll be discussing how the questions are asked how can be the clinical questions uh, given pertaining to the capnograph so that we'll discuss at 7 pm on this platform of an academy on the youtube channel okay guys any doubts okay 
so thank you that was all for today's class as you all know on the youtube we have a channel neat uh, crack neat pg okay please subscribe to it and get the daily notifications about the classes which will be held and click the uh, uh, bell icon to know the notifications and also if you like my video uh, please uh, like the video and uh, for the plus and the iconic subscription i told you the advantages of the same if you apply my code that is apurva live okay you will get 10% discount on the plus and the iconic subscription and also on the telegram app we have a channel let's crack okay crack neat pg okay so if you join this channel let's crack neat pg you will come to know when will be the classes held okay and what is the schedule and also you can ask your doubt on this channel so that was all for today's class i hope this was clear tomorrow we'll be discussing very important topic at 7 pm on capnography so that was all for today's class okay you want me to revise anything you want me to revise anything okay